हेलो फ्रेंड्स किडनी इज प्राइमरीली एन एक्सक्रीटरी ऑर्गन दो इट परफॉर्म्स मेनी नॉन एक्सक्रीटरी फंक्शन इज वेल एंड इट प्राइमरीली एलिमिनेट्स द वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम द ब्लड ना इन सर्टन कंडीशन किडनी माइट फेल टू परफॉर्म दिस फंक्शन इट कुड बी एन अक्यूट रीनल शट डाउन uh in such a case uh, uh, there may, might have to be a temporary uh, setup or artificial setup whereby uh, the kidney's function can be performed temporarily by this uh, artificial kidney or uh, uh, till such a time when kidney regains its function in such conditions or it could be a chronic renal failure or end stage renal disease when the patient is likely to a uh, patient is going to require renal transplant but before that renal transplant could actually happen uh, on a regular basis this artificial setup will have to perform the function of kidney uh, of uh, removing the waste products from the blood and this artificial setup or artificial kidney or this procedure is called as dialysis so in this video we are going to discuss some basic principles uh, underlying this procedure called as dialysis as we have said already that uh, when the kidney is unable to perform its function then uh, we require the procedure called dialysis let's see what is the basic principle uh, now assume that uh, there is a container filled with water and uh, we mix a solution which is having uh, a mix of high molecular weight substances and low molecular weight substances now these two solutions are separated by a semi permeable membrane so what happens is that uh, the low molecular weight substances in this bag like sodium chloride we have taken examples protein the high molecular weight and nacl the low molecular weight now this low molecular weight substance will cross will pass through the semi permeable membrane and will come out but protein being the high molecular weight could not come out which means we have separated these two types of substances by immersing it into this container and but separating it by a semi permeable membrane so diffusion of only one type of substance has occurred and thereby the two substances in the bag could be separated as you can see here the sodium chloride will come out because it can cross this semi permeable membrane proteins could not and uh, water will enter the bag because proteins will exert the oncotic pressure that's the basic principle underlying the procedure of dialysis there is a mixture of high molecular weight and low molecular weight substances like proteins and sodium chloride respectively it is placed in a container that has water the two solutions are separated by a semi permeable membrane as we saw already now what happens is low molecular weight substance sodium chloride comes out by passing through the membrane proteins could not cross the membrane so we have separated these two substances proteins and sodium chloride uh, which is what the case uh, in the case of dialysis there are substances in the blood there are substances which are required and then the, there are waste products these two will have to be separated and the waste products will have to be eliminated out of the body uh, in the procedure of dialysis so this is what happens here that's the basic principle uh, governing the dialysis and water from the container moves in due to the oncotic pressure so what will happen is if water is replaced repeatedly because sodium chloride is coming out from the bag and uh, coming into the water we will replace this water repeatedly eventually the mixture will be completely uh, free of sodium chloride all the sodium chloride will have come out of the bag and then will be uh, eliminated so that's uh, is the that's what the basic principle of basic uh, uh, procedure or rather let's say basic principle on which dialysis is based so what is dialysis by definition physical process by which micro molecules are separated from the macro molecules we saw that just now sodium chloride micro molecule separated from protein macro molecule all right so basically this is a physical process of separation then uh, certain substances are removed so in the blood we, when we talk about the dialysis there are substances in the blood some are required some are waste products 
we are separating the two and waste products will be eliminated. So certain substances removed and some are also added as we saw water got added into the into that bag. Now that being said, let's talk about actual dialysis procedure, dialysis of blood. First thing, when is it required? Uh, we already said that actually in the conditions of renal failure, there could be two types of conditions. One, like acute renal shutdown, which has uh, occurred in an acute fashion and uh, kidneys might regain their function later on. So, till that time, once or twice or thrice, we might require, uh, the patient might require dialysis to be given. Or the conditions like chronic renal failure, end stage renal disease, when uh, kidneys have stopped functioning and therefore the patient will require renal transplant. Ultimate uh, treatment will be renal transplant, uh, but before that, there has to be some artificial uh, setup whereby uh, uh, in intermittently the waste products are removed uh, from the blood till the time that patient receives a new kidney. All right. Now, kidneys normally excrete the waste products, toxins, etc. And in the conditions of renal failure, we require some artificial setup. It's also called as artificial kidney. So, this artificial kidney machine performs the job of kidney. And that procedure is called as dialysis. The machine is called as dialyzer. And uh, the, the, the uh, material that is flowing through the dialyzer is called as dialysate. The solution uh, which is also filled in the dialyzer is called as dialysate. Right. Now, small molecules are removed from the blood by diffusion across a selectively permeable membrane into that solution. There is, a, there is blood which is going to circulate, flow through the dialyzer and there is another solution in the dialyzer which does not have these uh, small mole uh, low molecular weight uh, substances. So, a small low molecular weight substances will diffuse through the semi-permeable membrane into that solution, the dialysate right uh, into the solution and uh, which does not have these molecules small molecular weight substances are not there from the beginning right and then uh, intermittently that solution can also be changed at we as we saw uh, initially now there are two types of dialysis practically speaking uh, it uh, there are two types of procedures in dialysis one is hemodialysis and the other one is peritoneal dialysis. Let's see uh, how they are different. Although they perform the same function, but the procedure differs slightly. What is hemodialysis? Hemo means blood, you know. So, patient's blood flows through the dialyzer and there is a dialysis membrane that separates the blood and an artificial solution. As you can see here, blood flows through the machine and uh, the dialysate, the solution also flows through it and they are separated by this selectively permeable or semi-permeable membrane. The membrane allows small molecules to diffuse out of the blood through the membrane into the dialysate like this. Uh, those substances will cross the membrane and that is how you can separate the substances which are to be eliminated from the substances which are to be retained in the blood. The other procedure is peritoneal dialysis. Now, in this, the peritoneal membrane itself acts as the dialyzing membrane. So, we, are, we have been talking about the semi-permeable membrane uh, which will separate the substances in the blood and one type of substances will cross the membrane. Uh, in the peritoneal dialysis, the peritoneal membrane itself will work like that semi-permeable membrane or dialyzing membrane. Several liters of dialysate, that solution, the dialysate, several liters of it are introduced into the abdominal cavity. Now, small molecules in the blood will diffuse across the peritoneal membrane, the semi-permeable membrane, uh, into the solution which we have put into the abdominal cavity and uh, then that solution will be removed from the abdominal cavity. So, the substances which were eliminated uh, from the blood 
which came into this that abdominal cavity or into that solution uh, that solution will be removed from the abdominal cavity that's the procedure called as uh, peritoneal dialysis but uh, in this particular video i had to just uh, limit myself to the basic principle uh, uh, behind the procedure of dialysis when is it required and what are the types of dialysis so if you get a short note uh, for let's say five marks you can write this much at the first prof level and you can get full marks for this we continuously record such videos and post them on our channel so if you have subscribed to the channel well and good if you haven't go ahead and subscribe now